What is up, Marvelites? I'm your host, Josh Soleil, and welcome to Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, the Black Order, exclusively for the Nintendo Switch. But we're not alone. We got Peter Rosas right above me, senior producer at Marvel <laughs> Games. What is up, man? Oh, man, Josh. Thanks for the big intro, and thanks for having me on this. Uh, you know, Moe 3 is one of my most favorite games uh, that I've worked on thus far at Marvel and also played, you know, I think it's really fun and it, I'm glad to be on the show with you to uh, see it in action or That's see cool. somebody who's really good at the game. Oh, action. thank you. Thank you. I'm not definitely not as good as you for sure. Now we also have <laughs> chat up as well. So if you guys have any specific questions for Peter, feel free to ask us. Uh, we have people finding those questions out and they'll get them back to us so we can answer them. And while that's going, well, we got to get right into this, right? So let's go straight right for the hero select screen, right? Like choose some characters. Okay, yeah, all right. All right, let's see what we have here. So the entire roster, I'm going to hide us really fast so they can see, us, see the I'm entire sorry. roster. Every time I look at that, that character select screen, I'm just like, oh, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about right there. It's gorgeous. I mean, just like that... That little Easter egg on the top left. What is that? Infinite Thanos? Like, ooh, I just gotta show. I just gotta show him off. Two hundred and thirty when you get him. <laughs> Man, team. You know, like everything he does is it's designed so that he he and the stones act as a team. So he doesn't need it. He doesn't need the three other plebs. He's just like, no, nope, <laughs> it's just me and the gauntlet. <laughs> so I'll bring us back up here. So we have this entire roster of characters. If I were to ask you to choose one of your favorites or four of your favorites, who would you choose? Uh, you know, I, I like Ghost Rider. I think he's he's pretty uh pretty exciting. Yes. Definitely underestimated, uh, but really really cool. I think uh, I also like. So like Human Torch. How human about that? Torch. Ooh. Torch. Getting some DLC pack three action in there. Yeah, I can't forget about my girl Phoenix. You know, let's go with her. Allow me to rise to the and right, more. Yeah, pleasant surprise, uh Crystal. I actually thought Crystal was super cool. Super cool in this game. Being able to change your base attacks, uh, depending on which heavy attack you used last, but that's that's pretty sick. So you got a I mean, so you got a theme respect. going on right here. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of fire. You know, I think this game is fire, so I wanted to go <laughs> and represented that. So <laughs> that fire theme. That's awesome. All right, so my characters are level 70s, 80s, 60s. They're definitely not the main top tier characters that I use. So this is gonna be a, this is definitely gonna be a challenge for me for sure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I wanted to keep you on your toes. I mean, I'm sure you know you could pick. Thanos Infinite and then run a mug at two with his 231 level, but like, where's the challenge in that? Where's Let's the keep challenge? It... Yeah. And, you know, uh, I know that you're like well versed in the game. Uh, so when it comes to what mode we put you in, let's, let's try to pick something that you may not have experience in. But also, more importantly, let's look at these costumes. Real yes. Quick. I was, took the words right out of my mouth. So I have, a, I have three costumes for Ghost Rider. One of my favorite is Ghost Racers, because this is just, it's so awesome. But there's also the <laughs> default and the default alternate. Do you have a specific one that you like out of these three? No, I'll leave that up to you. You know, I mean, I do love this alternate. I think it's really fun, uh, but I'll leave it up to you. All right, you, you could go with that one. The style that you like. And then I love Johnny's red one. So we'll go with that. Okay, nice. Are we going to go with the classic? Classic, Marvel Girl, we got to. There we go, yes. I just unlocked that actually yesterday. <laughs> and then, let's see what I have for Crystal. Yeah, we got to keep the Avengers one. I like that one a lot. Yeah, and do you have your characters outfitted with the right ISOs? You know, it's uh, funny. I don't because I rarely play as, as Crystal, but you know what I'll do? Because I want them all to level up as much as possible. I'm going to give them all Team XP ISOs. Would you recommend that? Or would you say you should go for like maybe some like... Like power? I mean, 
because because she's a magic. I mean, she does a lot of like magic stuff. I, I usually use a mastery uh, to kind of increase her damage output. But I mean, it's really up to you in terms of how you want to approach it. If you want her to level up quicker, and you think that'll help you do better, then I would go for that. Well, I gotta go with the expert mastery. It is. I'll give her an orange orange five mastery, twelve hundred fifty. Nice. Man, I wish I knew you were going to give me these characters to play with. I would have leveled them up to 300 by now. <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to keep you on your toes, Josh. I mean, I know that, you know, you want to be prepared so you could look amazing on the stream, but <laughs> it's not, it doesn't feel live at that point, you know? <laughs> it doesn't feel thrilling. It doesn't feel thrilling. So, you're, you, you were one of the producers on this game. For those of, uh, you know, people in the chat that are unaware what goes into that job title, what is, what is that like? Uh, you know, it's it's a lot of working with, with our partners and making sure that uh, everything that goes into the game uh, is authentic to the Marvel brand, to the characters, uh, making sure that the game is, is fun, that uh, it's also entertaining, right? We want to make sure that we're doing a service to our fans and putting in things that they've come to know and expect with the characters and that they want to see uh, so that at the end of the day, we have a really fun game that people can enjoy playing, enjoy looking at, enjoy talking about, you know, uh, come back to in the future. And that's kind of, that's kind of it in a nutshell. I mean, there's a lot more dynamics to it, right? There's a lot more like meetings and nuances and things that you have to take care of in the day to day. But uh, at the high level though, it's just about making great games and making sure that uh, what's in your hand is, is awesome. That it stands the test of time. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, you definitely succeeded in my personal opinion, because I've sunk at least 200 hours into this game. <laughs> so thank you for that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's it's so funny um, because when when the game was being developed and and you know we're putting in things for the long term like ISO and uh, you know all the things that kind of microstated and also the uh, what is that the lab right where you go yeah. to you know, boost your characters and and kind of thinking of how long it would take to go through the Alliance Enhancement Grid and then things like that. It was just like, like, there's going to be a lot of content here for players who, who really want to uh, unlock it all, who really want to grind it and, and make their characters the strongest they can be, right? Uh, and we knew that some people would do it, such as yourself, you know, and and, and others uh, others of that rare breed, you know, who are, who are super completionists. Uh, but even if you're not, though, there's still a ton of content here. Uh, to keep you excited and to keep the game fun, right? Yeah, no, I, that's perfect. So you mentioned earlier that you wanted to give me a challenge. I was gonna say, let's, you know, do the storyline because I have, there's an event up that you unlock more, you know, outfits and stuff like that. But you said you have something else in mind? Yeah, you know, uh, I'm pretty sure you, if you go through the normal game and, and you play on the different difficulties such as like superior, mighty, ultimate, you know, that it gets harder and harder, and, and you probably already beat it because you knowing you, you're, you're, you know, <laughs> multiple times, uh, multiple times. But yeah, but you know, I think that at that point, you kind of know where the enemies are going to appear. You know what they do. You kind of know the boss sequences. That's boring. So we uh, <laughs> mix it up and keep it exciting for you by hitting the nightmare mode in uh, Curse of the Vampire. How about that? Oh, that I've never, I've never played nightmare mode before. I haven't, I haven't done that. Really? Come on, man! You gotta try it out. You gotta try that remix story. So, yes, it might be it might be similar to what you know, but the enemies are definitely going to be a lot more challenging because uh, it just starts off it just starts off like like different. You know, the enemies they're they're gonna come at you with uh, different strengths, different weaknesses. Some of them are elementals, uh, ele elementally infused. Some of them are just going to sap life from you. It's definitely going to be different. It's definitely going to feel like a nightmare. Hopefully, oh, great. Uh, You're going to make me look terrible on the stream, man. <laughs> like, hey, you, you know, like you have high characters, high level characters. You should be able to do pretty well. Should we start? With, should we start with chapter one? Yeah, yeah. Just start it. You have to, you know, ease yourself into it. Don't, don't just go <laughs> in. <laughs> Knowing me, I'll be like, let's start at the, let's start yeah. at the last chapter. <laughs> just go into Wakanda, then it's over. <laughs> <laughs> So let's skip the storyline. For those yeah, of you, I think it yeah, for those of you who um, are just joining in, 
Uh, this is Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, the Black Order, exclusively for the Nintendo Switch. We're playing on Nightmare Mode, which is in DLC Pack 1, Curse of the Vampire. And all three DLCs are available in one expansion pack. Just make sure you have the game before getting the expansion pack. And above me is Peter Rosa, senior producer at Marvel Games. Seriously? No <laughs> no, all fire. right. Ooh. So this is what I want to see. I want to see you make it through this. What if I just trolled you and just started breaking boxes? For like 10 minutes. <laughs> well, you know, that, that would tell me that you're just doing it for your safety because you're too afraid of the challenge that lies ahead. But that's fine, man. No judgments here. I'm just... <laughs> so, there's so many different chapters and so many different like locations, like iconic Marvel locations. How did you guys go about choosing those locations? Well, you know, we wanted to make sure that uh, the story expanded across the Marvel Universe, right? You have Thanos trying to retrieve the Infinity Stones. And, you know, we would be doing a disservice to everyone if, if it was kind of just in one area. So we wanted to make sure that, you know, the mainstays that people have come to know and love were, were touched, right? Like the X-Mansion. Like, who mm. had seen that in a game in a long time, right? Yeah. Uh, also, Shadowland, you know? I think that uh, a lot of people know about it, a lot of the fans know about it, but you know, when you have to go through Shadowland and you're going through the various floors and the hidden doors and, and different areas and, and trying to dodge traps to get to Kingpin, I mean, all that is awesome, right? And with those locations come really awesome families of characters. So we wanted to make sure that, you know, with this being Ultimate Alliance, you were able to form that Ultimate Alliance by seeing all the characters in the different areas that you come to kind of know, love, and, and expect, essentially. I'll never forget Deadpool cooking uh, tacos at the X Mansion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, when uh, we first saw that, we thought that that was hilarious. Especially <laughs> when Juggernaut runs in there and he's just like, <laughs> he's just like, oh, okay, yeah, you guys over there doing your thing. I'm over here just trying to make some, make some tacos. That's that reported to me, right? <laughs> oh man, I'm doing some damage. I gotta say, I'm doing pretty well. I mean, this is also yes. chapter one, though. <laughs> You guys are starting off pretty good, you know, um, but the difficulty definitely ramps, so, you know, it's it's pretty funny. If you actually beat uh, the normal difficulty, right, yeah. uh, I believe it's superior, no, mighty, right, and then you try to play this mode immediately after, it's extremely hard. But since you uh, went and leveled up your guys quite a bit, you're doing well. You're starting off pretty well. Hey. I shouldn't speak too soon, though. That always happens to me. I get I get super into it and then I say something and then I just lose. <laughs> no, but see, but that that's great because now you're gonna get to the first boss uh, pretty shortly, right? And we'll see if you can survive. So I I want to talk about your background a little bit because you are so famous in the fighting world, like you know when it comes to fighting games, you were so well known. What was it like taking your background and putting it into games like this? Like what was that transition like? Uh, well, you know, with, with fighting games, uh, the big thing is making sure that combat feels good, right? Like, that's, that's mainly what it is, right? Just making sure that when the characters interact with one another, that the hits feel good, that they look good, that the animations look nice, right? Uh, so when it came to this, it, it's just like making sure that, you know, when you're beating up on all these different Kree soldiers and Hydra minions and all that, that you're playing and you're like oh okay like this feels good like this is entertaining uh these animations are are a great representation of the character uh and it's kind of just like pushing for those things uh and you know as you can see here the, the proof is is kind of in what team ninja's done here like look at it right it looks amazing the characters the animations are great the movement's fluid the attacks feel good uh the challenges that the enemies provide is is thrilling so i mean that's kind of it's kind of how i was looking at it yeah I, absolutely the combat in my opinion is some of the strongest that i've ever played because you just constantly want to try and get that you know xp up and do that this right here it just feels yeah. so good <laughs> right the, yeah the uh, ultimate alliance stream is awesome uh you know, when you start seeing those big numbers flash when you're doing big damage, uh, that's super entertaining. And the sound, too. Like, that bass just drops, and you just know. You know it's over. 
yeah, and the huge clash when things synergize, I mean, when attacks synergize, so then you just know you're doing well. I think, yeah, the team definitely did a bang up job. And, uh, you know, look out for these guys. Some of those guys self destruct when uh, they're on the verge of being destroyed, so. The guys with the red, the red aura around them? Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Right. I'll stay away yeah. from them. And then the Kree Lieutenant that's that's fighting you right there, he's infused with electricity. If you get into his get into his uh, range, he'll probably stun your character. So you know it's a it's a little different. So then you so then you wanna depending on those chapter you're on, you probably wanna switch up your team to maybe get some range attacks going, depending on the enemies you're facing. Yeah, you wanna make sure you at least have a a ranged character or two there. You don't you know you gotta mix it up with your team. You can't just rely on brutes. Or you know, infinite Thanos. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know. I know that you want to, you know, go ahead and steamroll the game, but I keep I, it real. It was, I unlocked a man. <laughs> I should be able to play as him. No, that's true though. That's intense. It was part of the agreement. <laughs> like, for, for the amount of like, uh, for the amount of things you have to complete and the amount of work you have to do to get him, I mean, I commend you. I think that's awesome. But no, let's let's go through this the let's go through this the normal way. The normal you know. Way. One of the things, some of my favorites are the rifts. I spent so many hours trying to 100% the rifts, and I was so happy when it happened. So you three starred every challenge. Everything, everything. Especially the, the one that was the hardest was the Cyclops one at the very end, because no, no team member could get uh, could get incapacitated. That was the hardest one. That blows my mind, honestly. And I mean, like, you know. There's a ton of there's a ton of like players out there like you that that did that and I just like tip my hat off to all of you like commend you you know even even the writer Mark Simurek you know for this game uh, who yeah. did a job on a script he also I believe completely 100 percent of everything too and I'm just like I, I give it to you guys that's awesome that, amazing yeah well, you're coming pretty quickly I don't want to waste my Alliance Extreme just yet because he has that that second level. Mm -hmm. But as soon for me, as soon as I unlocked Colossus, I feel like things just like were so much better for me because when a boss does a damage like this, Colossus can redirect it. Ah, uh, so yeah, yeah. awesome! So that's who you use on your main team, then you use Colossus. When I was doing the rift, yes, uh, okay. because I needed that power. But on my main team, I'll do Wolverine, Daredevil, Psylocke, and either Elektra or Magneto. Why, why uh, Daredevil and Elektra? You know, because those characters are kind of uh, underestimated. Yeah. Yeah, they're you know they're not really looked at as amazing as amazing characters. One of my the reason was one of my favorite moves for Daredevil was his area of effect move where he just spins, and yeah. you just keep tapping and then keep it going. That was one of my favorite moves that I fell in love with immediately, and then Elektra because of their synergies that they have together. Mm. And then Elektra also has a good synergy with Psylocke. And then Wolverine because it's Wolverine. I mean, come on. How can you say no to Wolverine? But, like, like you didn't uh, think of Miss Marvel? Because Miss Marvel has that, like, spinning kick where she's just, like, spinning in a, in a big circle. And... <laughs> I don't know. I just grabbed the stone and thought of somewhere safe. Oh, I think we... Oh, is he back? We'd be a lot safer on the other side of that Flarkin door. Give me one second, guys. I think we might have lost. Oh, is he back? Hey. Gonna try and get him back in a little bit. Seems to be. You still there? Your connection like is in and out. Bail, it's like kind of robotic. We've got to repair this terminal if we want to restore power to this dump. Well, I guess I'll pretend to be him. <laughs> I'm kidding. I could not even live up to that hype if I can get the power up and run it we can break out of this hole let me try 
Yeah, I can kind of hear you, but it's a little in and out. <coughs> Let me see. Cool, guys. He's going to try and refresh. We're going to bring him back up. Thank you for your patience. <coughs> But, oh, here we go, here we go. Uh, still, no, still pixelated. Let me try something. <coughs> no, still low. Let me, I'm going to mute myself for a second, guys. Give me one second. Uh, I think, yeah, okay, man. Technical surprises, you know. <laughs> I mean, hey, it happens, and we 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 dealt, yeah. we went with through the punches. That's nightmare mode for you, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do it live. That's that's what happens. Do man. it live. Yeah, the thrill. <laughs> uh, but anyhow, so, so you mentioned you mentioned Miss Marvel's it's... kick. It's so funny. So I was probably yeah, yeah. I was probably like. A good 30 to 40 hours into the game before I even knew about that Wow like I had my characters I didn't like and then I heard like one of my friends was like yo if you're talking about you know quickly leveling up characters in area of attack why haven't you played as Miss Marvel I was like what and yeah, then, spin, yeah spin to win I was like that was like uh, the first character I was like oh my gosh her range is crazy it's and insane. she just yeah, she just knocks out so many characters, you know? And then, with the introduction of Reed, aka Mr. Fantastic, the spin to win got even crazier. Even crazier. That's the first thing I noticed. I was like, oh, I think I have a favorite area of yeah. attack player. Yeah, you just let him run amok, right? He's just spinning. Oh, man. But so, yeah, that's, that's so funny that you were like Daredevil. <laughs> I know, it's so, it's so funny. Uh, so you mentioned like specific moves that these characters have. What is it like in the development phase of like choosing specific uh, attacks or your specials for these characters? Well, of course, you know you want to use the comics as a reference, right? Uh, that's kind of the start for anything that's suggested for the characters. Is this something that they actually have done before, or you know they would do, right? And you know we always look to the source material, um, and pretty much all the attacks that the characters have done is is something that you would see in the comics uh, for the most part. And, and then uh, if there were, if there was an opportunity to kind of expand on the character to maybe do something that wasn't covered in the comics, but you know, is aligned with the character, then we let it, we, we went ahead. That's awesome. So some of these characters are a different color, or these enemies, enemy types. What, what, is that, what does that mean? What are we, what are we getting into right now? Uh, I think those are the characters who are, uh, I'm not mistaken, they're cursed. So whenever they attack you, you become cursed, and then you can't heal anymore. And the only way you can heal is if you attack enemies. If you get like, you get uh, life from them. Oh great! You become, I'd like a vampire. <laughs> this is I remember this part in the game when I first played it when Spider-Man comes in. I was like, yes. Yeah, but look at your characters, right? They're all uh, they're all dark now, right? They've all been. Cursed. Oh, you're right. I didn't notice that. I was so busy. Attacking these enemies, I don't even look at my characters. Oh, great. Yeah, but, but I mean, luckily your guys are doing like huge damage, so you know they're constantly healing. Oh, so my up. health, you're right. My health is going down constantly. So we actually have a question from chat. How long is the storyline for the game? Uh, I mean, it really depends on you as as a player. Uh, but the storyline, and and this is including the Fantastic Four DLC, you're probably looking at. Uh, like what, 15, 25, maybe 30? 
Yeah, it's it's a it's it's on the low, like fifteen to twenty five, something like that. Yeah. Um, depends on on how thorough you are and you wanting to go through the infinity rifts that are located in each stage and and really explore every nook and cranny. Right. If you rush through it, you could be on the lower side. If you take your time and really like get, level up your characters and and see what's around every corner, then you know. It'll, it'll be on the little longer side. You know? Yeah, I think the great thing about this game is it yeah. fits every single type of gamer you are. Like, if you're a casual gamer, you can just do the storyline, play with your favorite characters, and be 100% happy. But if you're, like, a hardcore gamer and you want to, like, level up your characters, you want to get that 100%. I've invested over 200 hours into this game. So That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, so we were just talking about the story, right? Uh, but if we're talking about just content in general, just everything you can do, then, yeah, you're definitely looking at well over a hundred hours yeah. at um, I would say. Yeah. So, okay, I have a question for chat that I want them to guess, and I want, Peter, I want you to try and think of the answer. You, you, you should know this. How many hours do you think Peter has played this game in? Like, how many hours do you think he's played this game? Including development time, testing everything. Peter, I want you to try and think of a of a number. A guess, obviously, it's going to be a guesstimate, because uh, I don't know, you know, if you'd be able to put that so I want to I want to see chat see what they can guess and then I want you to give us the answers so they're a little bit behind us so we're gonna give them time to, to answer I'm man so curious your answer I'm so curious. yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> you're like man okay this day that day let me go yeah, back to my vlogs just, yeah like you know there's, there's quite a bit of time spent in the background on this but, uh... <laughs> so, to make it to make it easier for for us and you how, how long have you worked on this game in the development phase? Before before it came out, like how many years would you say? Uh, I would say uh, before before I got on, there was a another uh, lead producer on it named Danny, who was on our team. Danny and Koo. I yeah, shout out to Danny Koo. Uh, like about yeah, about like a year, year and a half, about a year and a half, something like that. Yeah. Nice. So people in chat are saying 350. They're saying someone says over 500, 2,000 maximum. Someone says 900. Yeah, you know, I would say uh, probably like in the 300. Well, just playing the game, or are we talking about working on the game? Everything, everything, everything included. That's a, that's a whole different story. Right? <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, you got to think about it, right? Like, I would get builds, and then I would play it at home, and I'd have to, like, beat the build, and then they'd make adjustments, and then I'd play the build and beat it again, and then. You know, and you go through like all the little areas of the game, check out all the characters, uh, go through the cinematics. You know, there's a, there's a ton of stuff in this game, right? There's a lot of action. Check out the uh, infinity rifts. You know, um, so I, oh man, now you got me. You got me wondering <laughs> time I spent. I'm so it, curious. Uh, I'm so curious. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, like, hmm, yeah, I think a good a good estimate would probably be. Let's see. Probably, um, let's see. Uh, I'm thinking like 2,000 something at least. That's yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it has to be like, like 2,400 hours or something. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my goodness. Like that. Yeah, I mean, like this is this is something that I like. There was times where this was the only thing I saw for for my whole work thing. You know, like I would just come into the office and it's just, you know. Yeah. Uh, and you know the team, uh, Team Ninja, man, they they crushed it. They, they crushed were so, it. as well as as well as Nintendo too. I mean, awesome, awesome group as well. Everybody crushed, everybody crushed it on this game. You know, someone uh, in the chat says, "I love the game. I've already spent 300 plus hours on it." Man, that's see that, that's what I'm talking about, right? Like, it's uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm glad that people were able to play this game and really kind of enjoy everything that was put into it you know and really uh create their own ultimate alliance you know work on their own synergies really love up the characters explore all the challenges and and just see that you know there was a lot of uh design work that went into this right there was a lot of uh meetings a lot of thinking about stage layouts things like that and seeing it all come together and people enjoying it it's pretty it's pretty uh, heartwarming, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. So we got a, a question 
Struggling to level up characters after beating the story mode for the first time on Mighty. Any advice on leveling up characters? Hmm. Uh, I would say you should just do the Infinity Rift challenges. Uh, that's a great place to level up because uh, you can go through some of the easier challenges where it's like defeat like 200 enemies and every time you knock one out you get experience right so you can just cycle through that a few times and really boost your characters quickly yeah i think that's perfect there's a rift i think it's in rift number three it's wakanda level 65 that i think is one of the best ways because you can get blue and white iso types that allow you to increase your xp for your characters mm, yeah and also equipping iso right once you get those that help you level up faster i mean i would i would definitely ask josh over here since he has all the strats <laughs> <laughs> no you 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 put 24 uh, 2400 hours into this you kidding me you're the pro you're the expert that's why we have you here <laughs> oh no i mean you know like for me it's just it's just making sure that everything fits together and it plays well right but then you know when it comes to really mastering what's in there i would say that you, you probably have me beat in regards to like you're too kind you're too kind i, I think so i think so i think so i'm only stating the truth you know <laughs> i'm only stating the truth so i think I wanna, i'm so curious what these levels are now of these characters because before one of them was like 65 one of them was 70 and i feel like because of the iso types that i have right now they're i want to say they're in their high 70s maybe 80s even which wow you've already leveled up that much it's it's it feels so good to level level characters. And every time you level somebody up, if you go to the um, the alliance map, you can upgrade your map or the you know upgrade the map even more. Oh, the uh, enhancement grid. Yeah, enhancement grid. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can actually move around more, right, and and get to further spots. You know, that was the that was the funny thing. Like even when uh, when I was like playing the game and we were developing it, I would kind of give myself all these. Alliance enhancement coins and all that, and I was like, ha ha ha, you know, I could just dance around the grid, and I would get to the further ends, and I'd run out of currency, and I was like, oh man, this yeah, is, same this thing. Is a lot <laughs> I'm like, oh no, I, I don't have enough coin, I don't have enough currency, yeah. I gotta do, go back again. Right, it's getting expensive, you know. <laughs> yep. And then, and then they added the shield depot, which so if like for, for example, I sometimes it couldn't hit the events to unlock more costumes, and then they added them to the shield depot. I'm like, yes, I can buy them. I was so Oh, happy. yeah, yeah. Second chance, you know. Um, if you actually want to switch your characters, Ooh. Uh, I'll yes. give you that opportunity you know, to, to mix it up. Although, I don't know, you're doing really well right now. I, the impotents aren't crushing you anywhere near as badly as I thought they would. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll, I'll, I'll take that to heart. I'll take that to heart. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought I thought we were gonna walk into this, and you know, you were just gonna have a few knockouts here and there, and you're gonna be confused, like what happened? But no, uh, you haven't even been incapac incapacitated once. Well, this is the complete opposite of the last stream that we did, where I accidentally started the DLC Pack Three Doom fight on ultimate difficulty with Fantastic Four at like level seventy, and I just kept on getting defeated. I was like, no, I accidentally was bad. Look, did it like did it like when the match started or when the battle started? Did you just like instantly get knocked out? I think I lasted like I want to say five <laughs> to ten minutes. Like I almost had him, but not an, it wasn't enough, and so I had to keep mm. on going back in and choosing different characters. Okay, so we're back at the character select screen. Who do you okay. want to keep? Who do you want to rearrange? No, I'll leave it up to you. I'll let you choose a different team, but don't pick any of the guys that okay. super strong. Let me choose Miss Marvel because we talked her up, and I want to see that. Area of attack. Oh, are you gonna pick uh, Mr. Fantastic? Team Spin to win. Oh, spin, you... yeah, Team Spin to win. Okay, then we. I mean, Daredevil would be too unfair because he's so high up. Um, uh, another one who spins is Nightcrawler. He Nightcrawler. Spins. And then Ghost. We'll keep Ghost Rider in because I know he has that chain spin. No, but we're talking about characters yeah. that love spinning, right? Not necessarily right, right. using a weapon to do it. Um, and then another character who spins. You have uh, Wasp. Go Drax. Drax. All right, you get into some characters that I barely use. <laughs> this is great. This is like refreshing yeah. the game for me. Oh, there you go. Right, what keep thrilling? Ooh, you got the costumes too. That's what yeah. I'm talking about. Wait, so would Drax 
like, uh, he does have a spinning attack, right? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I think he does. Someone in chat says, I was so happy Nightcrawler was a playable character. I mean, you and me both. <laughs> yeah, I was super thrilled about Nightcrawler. I think everyone, uh, everyone who loves X-Men and even those who don't, I mean, Nightcrawler is, is such a memorable character, right? The whole Banff teleportation, it's ridiculous. So with the roster and how many characters that are, are playable, how how is it to like narrow down you know, the robust Marvel roster that you have to, I mean, I don't even say narrow, you have so many characters in here, but how do you choose that? Uh, I mean, you kind of have to go with the characters that make sense for the story, right? So, you know, not since we knew our locations, it was like what characters uh, kind of tie into those locations and what characters would players expect to see in those locations, right? Figuring out those guys, and it's also figuring out guys who would look cool in the game, right? Like, who have who has abilities that people want to see, who want, who they want to play with, figuring those guys out, you know? And then it's also uh, figuring out characters who people may not have seen, and they want to see them, and, and kind of realizing those characters as well, right? Because, like, you know, Miss Marvel, she's new, so we wanted to make sure she was included, and Captain Marvel, and, and you know, just trying to make sure certain characters that haven't been... Uh, Playable in previous entries are now available to play. You know? So, is there is there a character that you see a lot of people don't choose to play as that you're just like, you know what, this character you should totally choose to play this character. You know, it's you know this character is more top tier than we might think. Hmm. You know, I was gonna say Daredevil, but then you picked them, and yet I'm at a high level. And <laughs> then I realize, uh, actually, you could you could pretty much make any character in this game pretty serious if you go ahead and level them up enough, right? If you equip them with so and you level them up, then they're gonna be doing big damage and they're gonna be a threat in their own right. So although they might seem like a threat on paper, like let's say Luke Cage or something, or or even like a like <laughs> love it's it. So good. I just I love it. I'm just trolling <laughs> these enemies. It's just so good. <laughs> uh, at the end of the day they'll still be like super awesome, you know. Yeah, for sure. Yes. Wow. Good didn't, team. Send, didn't even send a chance. I know, right? Like, <laughs> I don't know about the synergies, but there's a good team. <laughs> when you when you spin with one of them, do they synergize with another one who will spin? Let's see. That's what I really want to know. So he synergizes with with Nightcrawler's blade attack. Is this one? So her spin oh. is Fantastic Four's punch down. Oh man, I want to see. That'd be see too OP. That'd be too good. Yeah. It's... <laughs> <laughs> That'd be too powerful. That's too good. But man, you're going through this pretty pretty quickly. So what I would suggest, yeah, what I would suggest is after you beat this stage. Then we go to chapter select, and then we go to a, a later stage where the enemies get really oh, intense. Oh, you want to increase the difficulty on me, huh? I see yeah, I, I, I gotta see you sweat. I gotta see you sweat. I think right, just it's a walk in the park. That's how it's looking. You're just right there, you know, with Kamala just spin kicking everyone. Like, <laughs> I feel like you're trolling the game. Like it should be. Oh. I, you made me laugh so hard I accidentally did uh, <laughs> did Miss Marvel's extreme. <laughs> Oh, so we got another question. Uh, is Gambit available in this game? I loved his inclusion in previous incarnations of Marvel games. Oh yeah, he's definitely available. Uh, he is part of the Rise of Phoenix uh, DLC pack. Yeah, DLC pack two. Yeah, Rise of the Phoenix. Yeah, yeah. So he, he was introduced in the game along with Cable, Phoenix, and Iceman. So uh, that's where the character. I mean, that's how you would gain access to the character. Uh, but yeah, he's present. And he has some really cool moves, really, really sweet, really sweet attacks. That's awesome. So, okay, so chapter-wise, what are you thinking? Wakanda, Asgard, Nowhere? Ooh, Asgard. Yeah, that one is really hard, especially when you're, like, in hell, uh, where Hela is. Oh, man, it was, like, I love 
that you know you 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 faced off against Red Skull, and then that wasn't even done yet. They brought the Destroyer in on top of that. <laughs> right. Let's see if uh, I can find it. Okay, right. Like, what do you expect to see there? And then it's like, well, I didn't expect to see Red Skull in Asgard. What? Yeah. And kind of putting it all together. So, but yeah, yeah, try that out. Let's do that. I think it's this one. Oh man, this is awesome. This is this is great. Just to be able to chat with you, like, thank you, thank you for taking the time. You know, I'm, I'm sure you're busy to be here with yeah. us, to be here with with you know with chat, to be here with this game. So thank you. No, I mean I'm glad to be on. This is definitely uh, it, it's definitely uh, exciting to be social and, and talk to someone else. You know, uh, especially. <laughs> <laughs> Especially right now, but uh, no, super fun, and it's good to see a pro at this game. You know, going through it like it's nothing. Oh, did I? Okay, I chose the chapter one after it, so I have to go back one. Wait, so did you already just try to go to the end? <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't notice. What? Oh my gosh! Come on, <laughs> I beat it! Yay! Look how good I yeah. am. <laughs> so short. With Infinite Thanos, was mm -hmm. how like. Did you always know you were going to incorporate Infinite Thanos as a playable character? Or was that like with DLC 1 or 2 development, you're like, you know what, we should include this character? Well, I mean, you know, it was actually uh, more of a, a last minute addition. Like, oh, hey, by the way, we could actually put this guy in, you know, as, as playable. But that didn't come until like near the end of, of the entire game's development, right? I mean, the character was present as a boss. So, you know, his animations are there. and. and all of his attacks are present, but then how that's given to the player, right? And how his moves are assigned, especially with uh, the number of attack slots each character has. Mm -hmm. Also, are we going to be delivering on that epic feel of having Thanos feel like a one-man team when he has his gauntlet on and it's realizing that? So there was a, definitely a lot of discussions had about the character and how to really push the character and worthwhile chase uh, but at the end of the day i mean when you get him he is awesome especially when he's using multiple stones at the same time yes it, i was just like this is like art to me you know it feels like art it was so cool well i was so surprised because i was like okay i'm gonna equip you know some isos in there and i was like wait the stones are the isos what yeah he doesn't need anything he doesn't need it <laughs> he's so powerful is in the gauntlet that's all you need. Okay, let me get to the chamber as fast as I can. We're not, we're not gonna waste what? our time with these scrubs. Oh my gosh, look at you, you're a speedrunner. You're just trying to get to it. <laughs> Avoiding the challenges, oh, Josh. I don't, I don't some wanna, say, wanna waste your time, man. Some, no, I mean, some say that this would this is expert movement, uh, and some would say that you know, you're know you cowering in fear uh, of the challenge before you, but you know. I'm gonna go with the ladder, it's definitely the ladder. Yeah, who am I to say either? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll fight these guys for you. Ooh. Oh yeah, that stun. Those, that kick just destroys the stun. <laughs> oh my god. Look, okay. look at this, they got nothing. Maybe, maybe we shouldn't have picked the spin to win team. I think now everyone's watching this and they're going to be like, oh, that's all I have to do. That's like, all I have to do. Nice. Thank you, Josh. You're welcome. That stream, <laughs> that stream was very informative. <laughs> uh, we, got a, we got a comment in chat. I just unlocked fa uh, Fantastic Four last night on stream, and I'm absolutely loving this team. Oh, man, great. Yeah, th and that, that was the thing, right? Like, Marvel's first family. How can we make sure that these characters have maximum impact and you know how are they going to do something that and the other characters that are already in the game right like especially like one of the characters that comes to mind is the thing you know you have already have kind of the hulk there you have uh drax right you have luke cage you have these bruisers and it make him feel different you know where, whereas a character like uh mr fantastic or invisible woman are, are a lot easier to do right and yeah, it was it was trying to figure out those characters and just making sure that that he's doing something different. He's picking up like earth, <laughs> he's picking up earth and he's throwing it at you and doing things like that and, and 
his dash, I mean, like his uh, shoulder attack has a big punch after it, and just making him feel that much more impactful. Um, it, I don't know, it's talking about this, it just makes me glad to see that all the design decisions and things like that, that, that the team worked so hard on, uh, the teenager worked so hard on to, to put into the game uh, and, and make it feel authentic is, is realized by the fans and appreciates. One of my favorite things, every time I unlock a new character, I go, okay, what are their moves? What are their specials? And how do they dodge? Because one thing that this game does so specifically and so beautifully is each character has a very unique type of dodge. For example, you know, uh, Fa Mr. Fantastic will like roll, like stretch roll out. Uh, Invisible Woman will like like go invisible out. Special phase, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's, that's part of the authenticity per character, right? Like, uh, we wanted to make sure that in all movements, whether it was guarding, rolling, jumping, hovering, double jumping, right? Uh, that it felt like something the character would actually do, right? We wanted to make sure that when if this is the first touch point for, for new players to see these characters brought to life, that they're like, yes, that is the Miss Marvel that I, I have read in the comic books. Yes, that is uh, the Sue Storm that I've come to know and love. Yes, that is uh, the thing. So it's just trying to make sure that, that we're delivering on those expectations and those wants, you know? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the best way of putting it. Gosh. I have eight more. These, these, come on, guys. I'm trying to get to, to Red Skull here. You're in my way. They're, they're definitely having you use all your resources, but they can't seem to be like dealing any big damage. That's what I would that's what I really wanted to see. I need to use the environment, that's what I need to be using. I'm wasting too oh, much energy. Oh, wait, do you have any uh, ISO on that heals you as you attack? No, these are all new characters. We didn't put ISOs on these characters. Ah, uh, then uh, yeah, it's because they, they curse you and then you're just healing from beating them up. <laughs> So another uh, comment in chat, I just unlocked Magneto. I wonder if he's any fun to play. I absolutely love Magneto. Him and Wolverine have a wonderful synergy. But Magneto has this move where he takes two like metal rock boulders on both sides of his body and just hurls them. Oh yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, when we first got our hands on Magneto, we were just like, this is rad. Like this is the man right here, because you know that, like there's just so many there's just so many characters you want to play as that you want to see, right? Like you know Wolverine, everybody loves Wolverine, but I think at at this point you're just like yeah Wolverine, cool, but then you're like Magneto, wait a minute, Psylocke, hold on, the Nightcrawler, you know, uh, and even Colossus, you're like oh yeah. this is right, so even Crystal, I was like whoa Crystal's here. Yeah, and, and for me, uh, Crystal was definitely a surprise and, and very delightful to play with. Mm -hmm. I thought that she was different, right? And it's just like her being able to control those different elements and you being able to do all those, those that was pretty cool in my mind. Another comment from chat. So you guys, uh, which, so guys, which DLC pack is your favorite? Curse of the Vampire, Rise of the Phoenix, or Shadow of Doom? Mm -hmm. Uh, I think personally for me, I thought Shadow of Doom was probably the one that I liked the most. Uh, and that's just because I got to play as Dr. Doom. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm like, not so basic. I just need the one character and that just makes my whole day. Like. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I need. I'm done. Thank you. <laughs> so for me, like each DLC brings such a specific element to the game that added like Curse of the Vampire brought this nightmare mode. It also brought Gauntlet for the first time. Um, and I believe it brought Shield Depot, uh, which was like mm -hmm. something brand new. I was like, whoa, okay, that's amazing. Like, this is brand new to me. And then Rise of the Phoenix brought the X-Men into the game, which, I mean, how could you how could you like not love that? And I think a new rift came with that because- Yeah, and, and also really important PVP, yeah. right? Compete against other players. Right in the danger room. The danger room, exactly. Yeah. And then, so I thought. Yeah. No, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was, oh yeah, I was gonna say, and, and then the third one, uh, but I, but that goes with the danger room. The third one not only brought more characters of Fantastic Four, but you got to unlock Doom as a playable character, and it brought a whole new story. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, and th that was the thing. It, it kind of put that nice uh, ribbon on everything, right? It was just like, nice. like awesome. And and it just completed that amazing roster to land you on fifty two different fifty two different characters. That's mind blowing, by the way. But uh, yeah, like it's just for me, it was just like Marvel Ultimate Alliance three. There you go. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Have you have you gotten the chance to play on Danger Room? Like, do you just go in and go like, all right, today I'm just gonna you know beat some people up. <laughs> I mean, I did early on, uh, but I think now, oh man, I would be, I'd be in and over my head. There might be there might be some Joshes on there, you know. Uh, I think people better than me are on there. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Whoa, cool. what? Oh, go for it. What are those green rocks that are flying at you? Well, so what's cool about this is these characters have, I forget what they're called, but they're imbued with like a, a, a power. Um, and if you defeat them, you can get it too. Which is that, that glowing around your character. That you see it around oh, yeah, yeah. They're, they're what, iso-infused, right? Yeah. yeah. So. There we go. I was waiting for you to get stunned. Uh, the cool thing about Danger Room is you choose your top characters that you have on your roster, and you go against people online. And what makes it so unique is there's these challenges that show up on the right of the screen. That if you complete them, you can freeze them. Uh, you freeze, you know, the person you're against. You can put all these like hazards on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You send danger room hazards uh, to hinder them from completing the challenge, right? Yeah. But the thing about that though is, if you're trying to complete that, sometimes that can detract you from completing the main goal, which the other person can use to try to beat the try to beat the main goal and win the stage, right? So you have to like juggle between going. To between the objective and, and just completing the main story objective. I mean, sorry, battle objective. That was easy. Uh, I could have eaten a sandwich while I was playing that. <laughs> too strong. You're too, too strong, too, Josh. Too powerful. Too powerful. Yeah. I mean, like, what do you do with all that power at that point? You know, you just run amok. Like, the game can't even contain you. Can't even contain. Um, someone, yeah. uh, someone says in chat, I love Miles' abilities. The whole the whole spider team, really like that was one of my favorite things to do is just equip, uh, Ghost Spider, Venom, Spider Man, and Miles, and just go at it. Oh yeah, right. That was like so fun, putting those putting those four together. I was just like, okay, go Team Web. That's what I was calling them. Go Team Web. Go just team web. <laughs> just trying to like make them all like like shoot them, have them all shoot Web at the same time. I was like, there's nowhere you can go. I was just spread. <laughs> so Thane is a big part of this game and I feel like Thane uh, yeah. is a very like obscure Marvel character uh, Thanos' son mm -hmm. what was the decision behind bringing Thane into this game? Well you know uh, at Marvel Games you know we want to work with our, our partners to ensure that they have something that's kind of distinct and ownable for each of their games you know? so something that allows them to say like you know that we have that. That's cool. And, and what we saw was Thane was that opportunity, right? And, you know, everyone knows Thanos. Everybody knows the Infinity Stones. But it's like, how do you turn that on its head? Like, how do you how do you have somebody appear that's possibly stronger than Thanos? Who wants to do something more than Thanos? And Thane was that opportunity. Uh, on top of that, we also pushed the gauntlet farther, right? Like, instead of having a gauntlet, we had the infinity armor like that was yeah. so you play that last battle against thane and and the uh and that like space rock that you're fighting on starts kind of coming together because he's summoning the stones oh man when i first saw that i thought that was so ridiculous like that that to me just really solidified that that thane was this you know this deity and was really trying to take the stones to a place that that Thanos, I mean, we know that he could fathom and he realized it was too crazy and that's why he didn't want to uh, he didn't want to uh, take it to that level, but you know, somebody was willing to do it and I thought that was awesome. Well, it's so funny you should mention that last fight because I want to get into this last fight. Four, four new characters. Okay. Who do you want to see fighting against Thane, Thanos than Thane, I think, because it goes in that order. Okay, play Scarlet. 
All right. Uh, and then play Black Widow. Black Widow. Mission accepted. Uh, you could play Magneto. Oh. And Spider Man. Ooh. Let's swing an axe. All right. So this will be the this will be the mission. The mission to end all missions. Let's see it. Let's see it. You gotta you gotta take us home in the grandest ways. <laughs> I gotta show off. I gotta show off these costumes. Oh man. Like Magneto, the 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 black symbiote suit for Spider Man. When I unlocked that in the rift, I was like, ah! I was so happy. Oh yeah, you have them all. Yeah, man. and then Black Widow's costume. I think believe that was from DLC Pack Three. Oh, that's when it was introduced. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see how fast you can. Like, like this is like a time trial. Like, how fast can you clear out? <laughs> right. <laughs> how fast can I lose, really? Oh man, he's uh. He's, he's powerful. Giving... Oh man, he's really powerful. Oh, he's giving it to you. Oh, okay, man. yeah. This is, this is what we've been waiting to see, guys. <laughs> you know what the mine? You know what the mind stone? Okay. Yeah. This is it. This is what I'm talking okay, about. This is it. This is it. Okay. It only took the last boss to get into that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we couldn't have started with this, right? We had to go in slowly. Yeah, exactly, right? You know, we wanted to gauge just how strong your characters truly were before we put you to this final challenge. Oh, man, then when he teleports... Oh, that beam! I forgot oh, about that beam! Man. Oh, that Power. beam is brutal. Look oh, at that. that. Oh, it's You're brutal. not even hurting him. Uh-oh. Oh, Can no. you sustain? Oh. Will you be able to get to Thane? Yeah, will I? I don't know. Do you believe in me? Oh, oh man. Okay, I should have saw that coming. I totally root. I totally root for you, Josh. I know you could do it. I mean, whether that's realized or not, I don't. I don't know, but I believe in you. Okay, I got to think about this. If I stun him fast enough and then use Magneto, I need to get more energy. Oh, the reality That's what stone. I mean. Oh man, I'm not even halfway down. Oh, <laughs> oh it's good it goes in the air at that point. I was lucky. Your guys are getting. All right, I have to like focus for this. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I can keep talking to you. That's, I bet like I have to like get into a like a position where I'm like. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. Not casual. Come on, Josh. Oh, no pressure. Man. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Oh, that was a bad move. That was right. Oh into it. no! I don't even think. I can't wait. I can't wait for the sun. I can't wait for the sun. I just gotta go for it. Wow, that's not even taking anything down. Oh, but you got him stunned though, and and your guys didn't get uh, incapacitated. So there's that. What do you use? Uh, Scarlet Witch's her uh, healing. Her healing. Uh... She's a healing move. Oh man. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. So you must. I, I barely played Scarlet Witch, and then she gets <laughs> defeated. There we go. Perfect. You know, funny enough, that's actually kind of why I had you pick her, just because. Of <laughs> no. You knew. Based. Go 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 go. There's nothing happening behind you, Thanos. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, trapped. Oh, but I got her just in time. I got her just in time. Okay. This is gonna come close. This is gonna come down to the wire. Come on, is come on. Healing move. Okay, what is it? Is it, is it the down one? Yeah, I think it's uh the one with B. Oh, I think that worked. I think it healed me. Heal! Yes, heal! Oh man, that's so powerful. What? I didn't even know she could heal characters. I just wanted oh, to show how I barely Actually, yeah. used her. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're doing well. You're doing well. Okay. Suddenly you were on the brink of defeat, and now you're doing all right. Speak oh, you're speaking too soon. Uh, ah! Oh, no, wrong move. Wrong move. Okay. All right, Spider-Man. Oh, come on! Oh man, you take a second to to do a synergy, and those those red spikes come out. Yeah, man. Those rocks. Uh oh, uh. I got out of the way. Got out of the way. You're almost there, though. Look at that. You're at the last 25 percent. Can you get it? Can you get it without getting knocked out? There we go. There we go. 
Oh, yes, yeah, there we go. If the Lance Extremes? Oh, mm -hmm. yes! Okay, is this it? Is this it? Scarlet didn't join in, but that's okay. I don't think it's going to defeat him, but it's going to kill him. That did less damage <laughs> than the last time you I launched. Know. Oh, okay, there goes Scarlet. Oh man, you're almost there. Okay, 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 Josh. Go, 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 go. Get out of the way, get out of the way, then get him. Ah, this is so cool. I just love him channeling all the stones and really trying to crush you with them. It's just so cool. I see you you have him and then he teleports out. Yeah, exactly. You can't just you know, you can't cheese him like the other bosses. I I should have shown infinite Thanos, and then it'd be Thanos versus Thanos. One thing that's really cool is you can have infinite Thanos and Thanos on your team, so you have two Thanoses. Oh yeah, right. Oh, he keeps bringing me. He keeps bringing me over to him. Oh, that space stone. That space cool. stone. I can't even revive Scarlet Witch. <laughs> oh, you're almost there, Josh. Almost there. Oh, he just uh. moved out of the way. Nice, Black Widow is getting Scarlet Witch. Perfect, nice job. Oh, oh, let's finish it. Let's finish it, Scarlet. Let's finish it, Scarlet. Let's go. She's back for a... Come on. No, that didn't even do it. <laughs> didn't like that's right. half. That did, you know, that did a, a solid 4% damage. Not bad. Oh, you're almost there, dude. You're almost there. Oh, okay. Oh, I think dodge got, is really, is really clean. In the bag. I think you got in the bag. Yes! Oh, I think, uh, I think that's a good spot to... Uh, <laughs> or do you think I can? I, I don't even think I can do. I pain. commend you. I totally commend you. Oh man! Thought that you were gonna get smoked. <laughs> I, I I thought I was gonna get smoked. I mean, I could still get smoked. But the good thing about when you, you're you're facing off against Thane, you have Thanos on your team. But you have, yeah. you, you go through all all six stones. Okay. Can I do this? That's the, that's the real question. Whoa, and is Thane cursed as well? Oh, oh yeah, because this is a nightmare. I didn't even think. Yeah. That. Oh man, I didn't even think about the difference that would that would do. Ah, oh, but you're you're cleaning them out pretty quick. Yeah, I'm, re like, I'm realizing how to use this team. Yeah, his uh, life bar is really dropping a lot faster than it than did with Thanos. You I'm, know, I'm figuring out their uh, their synergies. synergies. Yeah. Oh, the time. Get out of the way, get out of the way. That Magneto power where he just consumes the energy around him and just blasts it out, that's really cool. Okay, one stone. No one's incapacitated yet, so that's pretty good. I love this. Oh, yeah, just like, oh, comes down. Yeah, and then he infuses a stage. That Let's... armor, that armor, so sick. Ah, oh, that's so cool. I, I'm glad that you're doing this fight because I really like watching it. Yeah, when you mentioned it, I was like, I gotta do this. Yeah, it's so cool. I'm out of energy for everybody. Uh oh. He's starting to get. He's starting to get reckless. What is this? Get out of there! <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna use my extreme yet because he's gonna go into another tier and that'd be a waste. But I hope no one gets downed. Okay, here we go. Oh, Let's man. just do it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Hopefully this. Please stuns him. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes. Okay, good. Yes, that oh, takes nice. a whole tier. And you already got him too. Yeah, you already got the next stone. Nice. Perfect, perfect. Oh, just barely. Okay, there we go. Oh, yes, this is where he copies himself. Oh, no. Oh, and they all have different nightmare modes? Oh, man. Yeah, they all have different elements tied to them. Insane. Insane. I don't even know which one's the real one. No, that's what I'm talking about, Josh. This is that content. That this I'm is that about. content. <laughs> <laughs> Let's heal, let's heal, let's heal. Get over that beam. Time to face the 
Oh, didn't need that, but maybe that was a good idea. Oh, hey. Oh, and you caught the main one too, right? Yeah, I got the main one. Damn. Yes. Okay, two more. Two more stages. Two more stages. All right. No one's been down yet. I'm pretty shocked. Oh, I know, this... oh get out of the way. No. You're doing really well. I'm doing everything I po I'm trying to remember everything I possibly can. You just got to keep moving. That's that's the key. Ooh, you got to keep the dodge is the most I think important aspect of this game. Oh, for sure, right? Like just uh Making sure things miss. Don't take that damage. Yeah. I mean, block is cool, but dodging is better. Yeah. Okay, let's get Magneto in here. He's powerful. Oh, almost, almost on the final. Yes. Bit. I think I got this. I think I got this. I think you do too. One. Here comes, boom, soul. Get that energy. Oh, he was healing up. I know he was. Oh man, Ooh, one of them. Well, it's, it's always Scarlet, right? Oh no, it was Magneto. What? It was Magneto. It was Magneto. I know he was my one nineteen. Uh oh. And he's not, he's not letting you get near him. No, he not at not all. him at all. Go, 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 go. Okay, Black Widow, I think, was the MVP of this match because she keeps reviving everybody. <laughs> Almost there, dude. Oh, snap. Oh, I gotta use, so when you revive, I gotta use Magneto's. He has his full energy in the revive. It's so powerful. Here we go, here we go. Yes, okay, but he revives, right? He comes back? I mean, man, when that first uh, was kind of uh, thought of by the team and they were like, hey, wouldn't it be cool if uh, you defeated him and he came back to life? I was like, yeah, oh, that's so genius. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it, do it. I know, I was like, well, I was like why, why is this happening? What's happening? And then he comes back, I was like, what? Okay, let's see if this works. Scarlet always misses out. I'm sorry, Scarlet. Maybe you can heal us, though. Oh my gosh. I have to commend you, Josh, for being able to keep track of all the madness that's on the screen. You've taught me well. <laughs> Dude, almost there. Oh man. He's so stunned. Every time I think I have him, he just, oh, he freezes me. Oh. No, all right, almost right there. Man, how do you know who, who's who, which is what? I have no idea. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and ah, see if this works. Going, okay, he's got one. He's got one. Heal, heal, heal. Spider Man, he's got power. Almost there. Almost there. Oh, the he moved out of the way at the last second. He's serious. This has to be it. This has to be it. Nice. Oh man, I wish I had All XP right, ISOs God. on them. <laughs> Crushed it, dude. Respect. Oh man, that was awesome. That's a respect. That was great. Oh, well, that that was great. That was the end of the main storyline. Um, for those of you who have yet to play this game, um, but it's it's epic. As you can see, the amount of content that's in this the amount of fun we have that all three dlc packs are available right now in the expansion pack on top of the main game you can play so much so many hours so. yeah oh, i mean robust roster you know characters that that are doing awesome moves that you've been wanting to see them do in games you know uh playing as infinity thanos i mean that's that's just nuts it's just Ah, it's amazing. Awesome. It's amazing. Peter, thank you so, so much for being a part of this and joining us. Because, you know, I mean, shout out to the entire team, Team Ninja, Marvel Games, everyone that contributed Nintendo. to Nintendo. Absolutely, everyone that contributed to making this game possible. You know, without them, without 
Without them, we wouldn't have this game. And thank you to the fans, because um, you know we all come together and this amazing content. Yeah, thanks for everybody for tuning in and, and you know watching this with us and Josh for putting on one hell of a show, man. That was awesome. <laughs> I appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. I'm Josh Soleil. That was Peter Rosas, the senior producer at Marvel Games, and we will see you guys soon. All right, bye guys.